Hey everyone. For this first section of the video, I'd like to talk about the key features of the new update. If you want to skip through it and go straight to the jam, you can do so by using the chapters on the YouTube video, and you're welcome to. All these shortcuts are meant to make editing on the pianist faster, more intuitive and easier for the user. For instance, the first one relates to copy-pasting a chord, and uh, when I paste this chord on the third slot and I go back to the chord option, you'll see that every voicing, shifting and spreading effect have been copied over, and that's just to make editing faster. The other shortcuts I want to talk about relate to the chord menu again, but this time to the chord directions. Um, the first one is very, very helpful, and if you keep your finger pressed when you click on the go to, it will set it automatically to the chord you're currently selecting. And this is to make repeats easier when you want a chord to repeat itself uh, before going to the next one, so that you don't have to scroll all the way up to the chord slot that you want. And the second shortcut is for the den, and if you keep your finger pressed on that, it will set it automatically to one. And this time it's to set a loop more easily, so that if you're in the middle and you're in chord 18, you don't have to scroll all the way down to 1 to set the loop for the sequence. Now the key feature of this update is really the jump function that replaces the page function that you've seen previously on, on the pianist. And essentially now it relates to a range that you can set yourself in the menu and the pianist will jump to a random chord from that range that you set. It might not make a lot of sense right now, but we'll go through it for the jam and you can see that you, you can make probabilistic, generative or very deterministic jumps. The aim of this jam will be to show uh, how the pianist can become a probabilistic sequencer for the chord directions. So we're going to set the gate function to jump, and I'm also going to set the mode to plats because we're using mutable instrument plats to create the chords. And finally, if we go to the jump range, we can set it so that it's a random jump between the first page of the pianist, and that's between chord 1 and 8. So all that's left to do is to fill in the first page. I'm going to play around with A major chords and D major chords with a bunch of colorful extensions. Now that that's done, I'm going to connect one of the colors on the pianist to rings so that whenever the volt per octave signal changes, rings will ring out the new note. So as you can hear, when I'm going to switch to the next chord, ring will ring out one of the notes that's in the chord. Just as a nice little accent 